What is up guys, welcome to a new video. These are the best transfers, the best summer transfers of the 2015-16 season. These are the best transfers in my opinion and they were really, and I think they're going to be really influential during this season. Hope you guys like it. Our first three players are Schweinsteiger, Depay, and Roberto Firmino. Schweinsteiger came from Bayern Munich and was transferred to Manchester United this summer. I think it's a really good signing and a really good deal since he was pretty cheap. Depay has a lot of potential. He came from PSV Eindhoven and also went to Manchester United. In my opinion, Manchester United have a very strong side this season. Roberto Firmino is the next person. He came from Hoffenheim and now he is at Liverpool. I think he's a good signing since he's very skillful and very young, so he'll have a lot of so he so he will have a lot of potential. Our next three players are Raheem Sterling, Pedro, and Ben Teke. Sterling was one of the most expensive transfers this summer. He went from Liverpool to Man City, which I think is a pretty good move for him. Next up is Pedro. Pedro moved from Barcelona to Chelsea, and he has played brilliantly in the two games he's had so far. He scored one goal, and he think he's had one assist, which is a pretty good season, and he already has an inform with his Chelsea card. The final player on this slide is Christian Benteke. He had moved from, I think it is, oh, where did he move from? Aston Villa to Liverpool. And he's been pretty good for them, scoring some goals already. Next three players are Mohamed Salah, Di Maria, and Dzeko. Salo had a really awesome season with Fiorentina after being transferred from Chelsea to there, but now he is at Roma, which is a pretty good signing for Roma as they also got Dzeko. Dzeko was from Man City and then he was transferred to Roma. Manchester City did not let Dzeko play at all, but he is really good and I think he has a lot of talent. Next player is Di Maria, who was downgraded in FIFA 16. He had a pretty bad season with Manchester United, but I think at PSG he can get back on form. Our next three players are Quadrado, Otamendi, and Alexandro. Quadrado moved from Chelsea after playing like no games at all. He moved from Chelsea to Juventus, just like Sandro. Sandro moved to Juventus and I think they're two very good signings for Juventus. Up next is Otamendi. Otamendi had moved from La Liga to Manchester City. Manchester City intercepted his transfer to Manchester United, so he went to Man City instead. I kind of feel bad for Manchester United since they didn't get Pedro either. Up next, these three are from La Liga, Martinez, Danilo, and Felipe Luis. Martinez moved to Atletico, which is an incredible transfer for them. He's a very talented and skillful player, and I think he'll do well there. Danilo, I think, will also do well at Real Madrid. He seems like a Real Madrid kind of player, and he's really good. Felipe Luis, another fullback, moved from Chelsea after playing, again, no games at all. He's very talented, and I think he'll be back at... I think he'll have fun back at Atletico Madrid. One transfer that happened on deadline day that is going to be deadly is Ibarbo to Watford. Watford, Watford is also in the Premier League now, so Ibarbo is in the Premier League. So, defense, prepare yourselves. This is going to be sweaty. Thanks for watching my transfer video. These are the best transfers in my opinion, and I think they will be very influential in this season and upcoming seasons. If you like this video, please leave a like down below. If you want more FIFA content, please subscribe, and if you have any suggestions for anything at all, leave a comment. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time.